I came, I saw, I conquered. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. Experience is the teacher of all things. The greatest enemy will hide in the last place you would ever look. And when the drums of war have reached a fever pitch, and the blood boils with hate and the mind is closed, the leader will have no need in seizing the rights of the citizenry. Rather, the citizenry infused with fear and blinded by patriotism, will offer up all of their rights unto the leader, and do it gladly so. Without training, they lacked knowledge. Without knowledge, they lacked confidence. Without confidence, they lacked victory. Men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true. No one is so brave that he is not disturbed by something unexpected. If you must break the law, do it to seize power. In all other cases, observe it. It is better to create than to learn. Creating is the essence of life. It is easier to find men who will volunteer to die than to find those who are willing to endure pain with patience. All bad precedents begin as justifiable measures. Divide and conquer. Let the die be cast. I love treason, but hate a traitor. What we wish, we readily believe, and what we ourselves think, we imagine others think also. I came to Rome, when it was a city of stone, and left it a city of marble. He has not learned the lesson of life, who does not every day surmount a fear. In war, trivial causes produce momentous events. It is not these well-fed long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry looking. Which death is preferably to every other? The unexpected. Go on, my friend, and fear nothing. You carry Caesar and his fortune in your boat. I would rather be the first man in a barbarian village than the second man in Rome. A coward dies a thousand deaths. The gallant never taste of death but once. As a rule, what is out of sight disturbs men's minds more seriously than what they see. It's only hubris if I fail. No music is so charming to my ear as the requests of my friends and the supplications of those in want of my assistance. To win by strategy is no less the role of a general than to win by arms. Wine and other luxuries have a tendency to enervate the mind and make men less brave in battle. Avoid an unusual and unfamiliar word, just as you would a reef. 
men's minds tend to fear more keenly those things that are absent. It is the right of war for conquerors to treat those whom they have conquered according to their pleasure. As a result of a general defect of nature, we are either more confident or more fearful of unusual and unknown things. The things that we want we willingly believe and the things that we think we expect everyone else to think. Every woman's man and every man's woman Fortune, which has a great deal of power in other matters, but especially in war, can bring about great changes in a situation through very slight forces. I am going to Spain to fight an army without a general, and thence to the east to fight a general without an army. Beer, a high and mighty liquor. Human nature is universally imbued with a desire for liberty and a hatred for servitude. I believe that the members of my family must be as free from suspicion as from actual crime. Set honor in one eye and death in the other and I will look on both indifferently. I love then name of honor more than I fear death. Arms and laws do not flourish together. The Celts were fearless warriors because they wished to inculcate this as one of their leading tenet. That souls do not become extinct but pass after death from one body to another. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. He conquers twice, who shows mercy to the conquered. If I fail, it is only because I have too much pride and ambition. I have lived long enough both in years and in accomplishments. I have always reckoned the dignity of the Republic of first importance and preferable to life. I have lived long enough to satisfy both nature and glory. Men freely believe that which they desire. I am prepared to resort to anything, to submit to anything, for the sake of the commonwealth. It is the custom of the immortal gods to grant temporary prosperity and a fairly long period of impunity to those whom they plan to punish for their crimes, so that they may feel it all the more keenly as a result of the change in their fortunes. Bid me run and I will strive with things impossible. Let us go where the gods have shown us the way and the injustice of our enemies calls us. In extreme danger fear feels no pity. It is better to suffer once than to be in perpetual apprehension.